the idea is you'd like to be able to put up some kind of a detector that could detect the presence of radioactive material in, in the case of most of what we do at the uh, 3440 in a truck or a vehicle going by your detector without having to stop the truck and open it up and search through it. Uh, so uh, the two kinds of radiation that nuclear materials tend to put out that actually have a chance of getting out of the truck are gamma rays and neutrons. So we put up gamma ray detectors and neutron detectors and uh, uh, look for those, look for those, uh, those kind of radiations coming out of uh, the things as they come by. It's a difficult task because in a, at least for gamma ra radiation, nature has been a little bit unkind in that there's a lot of background in that basically everything around us that's uh, dirt or made of dirt, which is most construction materials, such as concrete and asphalt and brick, uh, are also radioactive. So that's our other job, is stopping the bad stuff and not impeding the, uh, 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 the influx of the good stuff into the country. Uh, one reason why you would come to a place like the National Labs, and particularly PNNNL, uh, as opposed to uh, uh, the universities from these, which is another place you could think of going to, is that we have, as part of this, also learned how to work with the clients in a particular way in the sense that we're building equipment uh, that is, in general, very technical equipment, uh, uh, very scientific, but is going to be operated by people who are not technical, who are not scientific, and indeed shouldn't be. This, has, this equipment has to be very robust. It has to be very simple. It has to give you simple, direct answers. Is something, is something wrong or is everything okay? That's what they want to know. They don't want to be fed a lot of the equations or, or plots or anything like that unless they're useful. They want to know the answer and they need to know it soon. And uh, here we're designing equipment to be used by non-scientists. What we're trying to do is we're trying to provide uh, um, an end product to our clients. Uh, we're not trying to just merely invent a new type of detector or a new uh, computer algorithm. We're trying to give them something that they can use and that inevitably requires more than just what the, uh, the physicists like myself can provide. Uh, it requires the engineering, it requires the computer science to put, make the software actually robust. Uh, after I've written what I think the, the algorithm should be, uh, it requires all of that, and that's, I think that's a, a real strength that we have, that we have uh, acquired all these people and all their talents so we can put, uh, we can put uh, complete projects to, uh, and complete products together for our clients.